Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. So today I have a really fun video that I have been super excited to film. I've been waiting a while. I actually already filmed a snippet of this before when I first placed the order because I have a big fragile box here from ColourPop. Um, so I did a little video clip when I first ordered all of this stuff. And now we're gonna unbox it, do some first impressions and first looks, and maybe play with it a little bit and do some swatching. Here we have all the items that I purchased, which is kind of a lot. So I got this makeup bag, it's really cute. We'll go into each of them. I got the Aurora Coronation Pressed Powder Highlighter. This is the Cinderella kit with the, I believe it's a highlighter and a new formula of their lipstick, which I'm really try, excited to try, but it looks like it's in a mini. I got the Beauty and the Beast kit, which comes with a blush and the same kind of lipstick in a different color. And then the Rapunzel, thank God, I See the Light kit, which is a powdered blush that looks really pretty, and a lipstick. Um, I also got the palette, the Midnight Masquerade, because I have all three. I'm trying their false lashes because they look really good. Um, and then I'm also going to try their tinted moisturizer because that's what I've been trying. It's all Disney again, so like if you look in your cursor does little star twinkies that's so fun but it's so pretty and you can buy um the whole thing this is the pr set with the palette and i think all the collections for 191 dollars which i honestly probably just should have done because i spent like 120 the palette the sets oh, the packaging is so pretty and then they also have the individuals here. So you could get Prince Edward, Wonder Boy, Prince Charming, Prince Naveen, Flynn, Phoebus, Beast, all sorts of things going on there. That's pretty too. I should have gotten that. But yep, and, and all the singles. So that's everything I bought so far from the Disney designer collection. Honestly, I thought I bought more than this. But I spent a total of $110 on all of this stuff. So ColourPop just started to do false lashes. So I got Queenie. So you can see it better there. Um, they look like this. There. Let me see if I can focus it a little bit. Yeah. So they look like this. They are not super large. They feel really soft though. Um... They're a little bit long, but they're not super dramatic. They're just kind of wispier, which I liked. But I love what I'm really here for. So I got the Midnight Masquerade palette. I then got three of the kits that are super cute. So I got, um, oh yeah, this is the Tangled one, the I See the Light palette. Um, not the palette, sorry, the Lux Liquid Lip and the Pressed Powder Blush. So the kits for the original collection had lipstick, a lip gloss, and a super shock shadow. These have either the blush or the highlighter for the princess. So then we got the Cinderella one, which looks like this. And then last but not least, the Beauty and the Beast one. So because it's masquerade, each one has a different like masquerade mask on it, which is really cute. I got one pressed highlighter. This is um, Coronation from the Aurora. Well, I'm a cheese ball and just a sucker for Disney things. But this was the makeup bag that they came out with for this collection. Plain, please. So it's a velvet clutch and it's like a really, really deep navy says it's a ball on it so I kind of want to put all these things in here because I think this is super cute and this was from the Aurora collection I didn't love the liquid lip though so that's why I didn't get this set but so this is what oh my god this looks like chocolate frog cards from Harry Potter and I'm a little bit dead um so this is the Disney designer art for Aurora and I've really been waiting for an Aurora collection to come out so and then we have like this I don't know if you can see it, like champagne colored highlighter and the marbling continues on the inside. Okay guys, so from here I'm just going to do a voiceover because we're going to make him home, but 
this is the Beauty and the Beast set. Um, so it's the liquid lip and the blush. So you have Belle on the side, then it gives you the movie or the, the film it's from. And I'm just going to keep looking at the box. I'm finally going to open it. Let's see. Okay, so these are the bundles, and they're really, really pretty because there's a flap with the artwork. Um, of course I broke it. I forgot I did that. I did that with every single bundle. Get ready. Um, so this is a blush. This was, I believe, Enchanted Mirror for the blush. Okay, moving on to the Cinderella bundle now. We have um, this pretty mask on the front, like just like the other one. A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. Cinderella's name upside down. Good work, Kay. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> um, yep, so we're going to open it. There's her artwork. Super beautiful. Oh my god. I love that artwork. And then her highlighter and her lip kit. Again, dropped them all. Oh, I really dropped that one. Dang. Okay. So this was the Horse and Carriage Highlighter, which I will say is gorgeous. Um, oh, no wonder my video is so pretty. So this is the Artwork for the Cinderella Highlighter. Um, this is Horse and Carriage. It's a super pretty gold kind of highlighter. It is gorgeous on. So that is the highlighter shade for you. Super blinding. And this is Prince Charming, the Lux Liquid Lip, which is a more pure pink than Beast, which is a little bit more of a pinky nude. Moving right along, we're going to go to the last one, which is the Rapunzel one, the I See the Light Bundle, um, which is a blush and a liquid lip in it. Rapunzel, um, one of my favorites. I'm super excited for this. Um, I'm so excited for artwork. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Um, so pretty. Oh, and there's that one version in front of you, so there's that. But her compact is super pretty, she has a blush, and a little bit of a skin. So, my beautiful girl Rapunzel right there, looking good as ever. Um, and then her blush, which is a super bright pink, and I will not be able to wear, unfortunately. <laughs> um, Yeah, sad. Pretty pink color, just not on me. And then Flynn is a bit of a deeper pink, more um, mauve than any of the others, honestly. And now, for the big mama, the palette, the Midnight Masquerade palette. Um, this was such a pretty palette. I love the packaging. The gold hair is beautiful. All of your shade names are going to be on the back in order of the palette, but they're also written down to the palette too. So, beautiful midnight masquerade on each side. So I'll open it up. And it's an interesting shade. I really like it, but that same um, almost ombre streak of color is on the front. The foils are so bright on the package as well, on the packaging. I'm so excited as you can see, it's such a pretty palette. Um, oh my god, oh my god. It's really hard to see because the foil is reflecting so much light, but those shimmers are so bright. The colors are so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so, so excited about this palette. Well, I don't know what that angle is supposed to do for you guys, but that's the palette. So now I'm going to insert some swatches for you guys. Alright, so I know you can hear my laptop overheating, but these are the swatches. So up top, these top ones we have, it's going to be the Flint Lux Liquid Lip and then the I See the Light blush. Then we have Prince Charming there at the bottom, and then that's going to be the Horse and Carriage Highlighter. Then at the very, very bottom, we have Beast, 
and then uh, the Enchanted Mirror blush. So you can tell that the top blush, I see the light, super pink, whereas the bottom blush, Enchanted Mirror, it's a lot more of a, uh, a rose tone than a pure pink, and the highlighter is like a champagne kind of color. Um, I also swatched Coronation up at the top, but it's kind of hard to see, but it'll come up in the video. Yep, so there's Coronation up top right there um, for you to see, and then all of them together with some flash on so you can see how they are swatching. So this is just the palette up close for you guys to see um, with my flash on so you can kind of see those glitter reflex really, really well. Okay, so these are swatches of the first two rows. So the first five up top are going to be your first row. Um, I think it starts with Mama Odie and goes down. And then the first one is going to be that kind of gold before the pink glitter, that uh, copper I should say, is the second row, which is all metallics. So your first row is mainly mattes, and your second row is a combination of shimmers and glitters. And this is our last row of mattes on the bottom. They do look a little patchy here, um, but I think we all know that mattes swatch differently on the skin with a finger than on the eye with a brush, and in my upcoming review, you'll see that. We could also play with some of the makeup and do a little bit of like, not a tutorial, but like do my makeup with it and see how I like it. This is editing Kayla again. How are ya? Um, so I have like a 40 minute video of me doing my makeup. This video would literally be an hour long. So we're not going to do that. And I'm clearly talking this entire time, but I just kind of sped up what I did on the eye so you can see kind of how it performs on the eye and how the shadows blend. So ignore my mouth moving because I don't even know what I'm saying in any of these things. But I just did a quick eye look and... Yeah, if you want to see what this actually looks like, leave me a comment and I can do a full tutorial of it. But I wanted to save time for you guys so you weren't here for an hour. This is the final makeup look for the Midnight Masquerade collection. I went for definitely more of an everyday look, obviously because I'm going to work in class. I can't kind of wear bright blue every day, but I think it's really, really pretty on and it's a good collection. I will say I'm disappointed by the blush and the highlighter. Like, the highlighter now looks good, but I had to layer two of them. Like, horse and carriage was popping coronation needs some work I think honestly and the blush looks okay but they're very very dry to the touch so I don't know I feel like on anything more heavy duty than this tinted moisturizer you would have some issues you would run into some issues um but I like it I like the lip a lot I think she's a really pretty color that's beast from the beauty and the beast collection so um I'm filming a weekly vlog right now, so I will do wear test updates for this tinted moisturizer and see how it does throughout the day. Um, so far, it still feels really, really nice and light. It doesn't feel like I'm even wearing anything. Like It just kind of feels like my skin, which I really like. Um, but I will be doing updates in my weekly vlog um, for this week, so that'll come out after this video. So if you want to know my thoughts on this moisturizer tinted moisturizer and how it does throughout the day definitely go check out that vlog um coming up probably in the next week or so but what do i think you should get first of all i think you should get this makeup bag it was 15 dollars, but it's so cute and it's exclusive to the disney colourpop collection for midnight masquerade and it says it's a ball and it's so cute and i definitely think that it's worth it to hold your collection um i definitely would recommend the princess bundles they are so cute. The um, display cases that they come in, the display packaging is so pretty and the artwork is gorgeous. So if you're a huge Disney fan like me, I would definitely get at least one or two of the bundles. Um, I think it's $18 for a bundle um, and I got three of them. So 
$18 for the luxe liquid lip and the blush or the highlighter for each princess I think it's a good deal that's nine bucks each and you get a display packaging for them and they're very very beautiful um, I would not say this whole collection is a total flop the packaging I think is so pretty um, and so so beautiful um, I think is beautiful and very very versatile I feel like you can make a lot of looks especially if you're somebody that will play with color from time to time um, I mean there's bright pinks and greens and a blue in there that you can definitely make so many different looks this could be every day this could be special occasion um, honestly some of these could even be bridal like you could do those colorful creative looks if you wanted to um, it's also so beautiful I love the artwork of the princesses up here I think it's just so gorgeous Ooh. No coffee. I think also the shape of the palette is really cute. It's kind of like a rectangle with the corners cut off. Um, and I think this packaging is really pretty. The flecks of color. I don't know if you can see that as well. Um, the streaks of color in here that are kind of like marbled and watercolored. The gold foil. I think it's just a really, really aesthetically pleasing collection if you're a packaging person and if you're a Disney collector. I think that these palettes in this collection is so so worth it um the concept art for the princesses on the compacts is beautiful um the only thing that i would say is probably not worth your money would be the singles of the blushes and the highlighter compacts um this was the only one i got as a single Ooh, and i forget how much i paid for it this is the coronation one um, that highlighter I tried, the champagne highlighter, and it looks so pretty in the pan, but it's such a flop on the skin, unfortunately. Horse and Carriage was great. Enchanted Mirror is a really pretty color. This Floating Lanterns blush is just not a color I'm going to be able to pull off. It's, it's just not happening. But I love Rapunzel, so I got the collection. Um, if you're not looking to wear them, and you just want the collector's edition things definitely get them i would get them in the bundle because the luxe liquid lips are so nice i don't think that these are worth a single um or would be pretty just to use the display cases that you get with them because they face out like this and you can see the artwork i think that's the way that they would be worth it but really of all of these things the only one that i would buy in a single again would be the horse and carriage highlighter because it is such a pretty powder highlight I don't think that the rest of them live up to that standard so far and I mean I haven't actually seen um, the floating lights blush on me it could look pretty I'm gonna doubt it um, I was disappointed by the coronation highlighter it did not pop it was definitely more of a subtle highlight if that's what you're into enchanted mirror looks okay but I feel like this look could also go without a blush I'm not really a blush person um, and then horse and carriage I think save the day in terms of highlighter so unless you're a collector I wouldn't spend the money on the singles if you're gonna get a bundle then you're kind of stuck with it anyway but I wouldn't go out of my way to get any of these highlighters or blushes I think like the smile and the song highlighter from the original collection is a lot better and super beautiful same with the part of your world one from that collection I was also disappointed by the Villains highlighter, pressed highlighters, so maybe Colourpop just needs to work on their pressed highlighter formula. I said it. <laughs> um, but then I do also think that these Lux Liquid Lips are so worth it. It's such a comfortable formula. The colors are so pretty. Um, I think they would look good on a lot of different skin tones. They're comfortable. Um, and it's a new formula they haven't tried. The applicator is super nice. You can really get clean lines on your lips. These are comfortable. They don't feel dry. I don't feel like they're going to trans... They transferred a little bit. I can see it on my Duncan straw. But it might transfer onto the straw, but it doesn't leave your lips patchy. So I think they're really comfortable. And I really like these colors a lot. Like I feel like Beast... You're going to see me in Beast every day. So I think... If you're gonna get anything from the collection, get the palette and get the Luxe Liquid Lips. I would stay away from the highlighters and the blushes unless you're gonna get a bundle and use it for a display because that's really all I'm going to be using the bundles for is for display. So those are my thoughts on this collection. I'm sorry this is already a really long video. 
um, also get the bag because it's cute. But I was super excited about this collection. I had been needing a Disney ColourPop release. Um, I was so disappointed by the villains one. It just really wasn't a usable collection for me. I loved the original Disney designer collection so badly that I think that this is a good follow up to that. Um, I kind of want to do like a rank the palettes, rank the collections, like simultaneously compare and contrast video on these. But I really, really liked the collection. I think it's beautiful. The packaging <sighs> is to die for. I really, really like them, and I think that you guys will too. So definitely check out this collection um, and let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are and if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what you got from the collection, and what you want to see next from Disney Colourpop because I got ideas. But this has been so fun, guys, and I thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. I'm sorry that quality is not great. We're filming on my phone no mic nothing so um i hope that it was still an okay video for you guys and i have some more ideas coming up so let me know what you think and what you want to see down in the comments below and i hope you're having a great week and i'll see you next time for another one bye